Today on History Eats, we take a look at what you would have been served if you had asked for bread in the kitchen of a Texian settler. It's a dish adapted from Native American cuisine and adapted to the harsh climate of the American Southwest. Corn pone, Johnny Cakes, and Hush Puppies are all variants on this staple of American cooking. Today, we bake up some Texas cornbread. My name is Heath Hamrick, and I love food, and I love history. No one has ever accused me of being a cook, but I don't mind trying. Come into the kitchen with me, and let's see if we can cook up some history eats. Ask any American child what corn dish English settlers learned from the Native American tribes, and they'll tell you, popcorn. While I love a good bowl of popcorn, today we're focusing on the second most famous corn-based dish adapted from Native American cuisine, and the one that had the biggest impact on the daily lives of Texans from the earliest days of settlement right up to today, cornbread. Native tribes in the American Southeast, like the Cherokee, have been using corn as a staple of their diet for centuries. English settlers took the native cornmeal and used it to bake bread and wound up with a cheap, easy to grow, easy to cook dish that would keep families fed on the Texas frontier. Wheat bread was incredibly rare in the American South, and especially in Texas. The weather was too hot for wheat crops to thrive. Add to that a settler's need for bread that could be made quickly in a pan or a Dutch oven, and you have the ingredients for the dominance of cornbread. This particular recipe has been in use for almost 300 years now, and it's just as easy to bake today as it was when Stephen Austin led the first American colonists to Texas. Begin by preheating an oven to a hot 450 degrees and placing a cast iron skillet with two tablespoons of baking grease inside the warm oven for a few minutes. You could use shortening for this, but then you miss out on a helping of bacon. While the grease is warming up in the skillet, mix up a batter of three cups of cornmeal, two tablespoons of baking powder, two teaspoons of salt, two cups of milk, two eggs, and six more tablespoons of bacon grease. You could add some wheat flour and sugar to this mix, but those are items that would have been rare for Texas pioneers, so we'll do without. Now all we have to do is add this mix to our iron skillet and let the resulting combination bake for 25 minutes. The result is pure pioneer Texas cornbread. In recent decades, Texans have taken to adding jalapeno and cream corn to this mix, which is delicious, but not historically authentic. There you have it, a staple of Texas pioneer cooking, served up hot right here on History Eats.